Small is beautiful. Don't fall into the trap of believing that bigger is better in the world of aeration and windmills. Bigger windmills just need bigger winds. You might think that the best windmill air compressor is the one that quotes the biggest CFM, that's cubic feet per minute, and you'd be wrong. And why? You'll be quoted bench test figures, and bench test CFM always assumes maximum wind speeds. And for most of the time, your windmill will not be operating at maximum speed. Bench test CFM always assumes zero water depth. And we should know that CFM reduces as the water depth increases. So doesn't it make sense to know what your CFM would be in, say, 15 feet of water? The fact is that your pond will never get the rated CFM from your air compressor. It's rather like the top speed of your car. Nice to know, but totally irrelevant. So we decided to take a more pragmatic, unbiased and honest view of performance and asked a leading technical college in Saskatchewan for their assistance in comparing the performance of a number of competing windmill compressors. We asked them to measure the PSI and the CFM under a variety of simulated wind speeds and water depths. We then used real wind speed data from seven locations across the USA to show how these windmills would have performed in real situations. The results were remarkable and observed to be as follows. Firstly, we assumed a water depth of 15 feet, and then we used wind speed data for the windy states and the non-windy states. The table shows that the performance of all the aeration windmills improved dramatically in areas of high wind, and that's to be expected. You will notice that the output of both Condor's models is significantly higher than our competitors in low wind speeds. You will also notice that the output of the Condor's models approximately doubles in high wind speeds and the competitors increase by fourfold and tenfold respectively. That doesn't say how good the competitor models are in high winds, but rather how poor they are in low winds. So all you have to decide is what the winds are like in your area and that's simple. You visit the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration website, that's the NOAA, and pay $3. You'll get hourly records of wind speed for any month. The results on the table were validated by Professor J. A. Gillis, and he says the Condor's air compressors are the most efficient due to their ability to aerate at lower wind speeds than their competitors. The real difference between us and our competitors is that when we wanted more air volume, our engineers recommended that we move from a single stroke to a double stroke compressor. Our competitors just made a bigger single stroke, and that's plain wrong. If a single stroke is so efficient, then why do we have six and eight stroke vehicles? So the message is plain and simple. Just because you're quoted a performance figure doesn't make it real. And it's been proven that a smaller compressor will outperform a larger one across a variety of wind speeds because it needs less torque to operate and is therefore more sensitive to lower wind speeds. Our products are engineered for optimum performance and have been proven effective over the last 25 years. No other company can make that claim. So, if you want to know what's the best aeration windmill, or whose windmill produces the most air, then the answer is Condor's windmills. Click on the banner below and spend some time on our website, Condor's Windmills, the company which invented the aeration windmill.